At the request of Robin, who plays a mean blues guitar, you should check it out. This is an overview of a standard that was first featured as the title track from the 1952 film Invitation. The music is by Bronislaw Kaper, Kaper and uh, let's see what we can learn from here. The melody opens up outlining a minor 6-9 harmony, the undoubtedly Dorian color, usually associated with the 2 chord. And we see that is what follows next. C minor becomes the 2 and a cadence up to B flat. The melody waltzes around the same note here that functioned as the 9th on the 2, then the 13th on the 5, then it rises to the 13th on the resolution chord. And you may notice the resolution is dominant, and what can that mean besides we're not done? The dominant B, B flat, is bringing us to the next section. Moving logically to E flat, Bronislaw now translates the entire first 8 bars up to this new tonal center, up a minor 3rd. And it doesn't take a lot of study to know that up a minor third is a very common place to modulate to, and a common source of modal interchange. What could be called the B section of the song starts with the last resolution chord turning into a two chord, which is a reliable way to modulate down a whole step as you're about to hear. He does this thrice, three times in a row here, each time playing the conventional 2-5 cadence, and what really stands out here is how the melody oscillates downward chromatically to elicit this altered, sharpened fifth color. Very pretty stuff. The B section ends with the G minor moving to the E flat dominant chord with the flattened fifth. And when you look at it, it's nearly identical to the G minor. All you have to do to voice this next chord is flatten the fifth. And then you've got a G minor 9 flat 5, which is a rootless voicing for the E flat. This resolves down a half step in tritone sub fashion to land on a D dominant chord, and this ends like a 2 5 going back to that 1 C that started the tune. You can even see the melody here toward the end is using those shared colors with C Dorian to anticipate its return. Very clever stuff from the composer.